shoot. Farney. Farney trying to tap it up ahead. Brine out to Viancourt. Viancourt pivots on the outside left circle. Turns around, deals it back behind Chute. Chute. Now Brine. Brine on the corner. Looks back behind with Baskin. Looking in front, trying to backhand it in. And we will have a penalty here on the Eagles. Hooking will be the call with 10.31 to play here in the third. And Boston College not going to be too happy with that penalty as we take a look at Harvard cycling the puck in down behind the Boston College goal. He looks to bring it out in front and gets taken down. So Harvard going to go on the power play here halfway through period number three. Basson goes off for the hook, and that's what happens, Nate. As I said earlier, when you crash the net, good things happen. So Harvard, now we're getting down to nail-biting time with a big power play and a big penalty kill coming up here for the Eagles. And a big power play unit right here. It gives Harvard and Katie Stone the chance to send out that front unit as they just skated out on the ice for the line change. So Viancourt works the point, sends it out to the far side left. Dealt back in Ribkina. Now back on the corner, here's Brine. Brine sends it back up top, Viancourt. Viancourt slides it to her right. Slap shot, save made, cleared back to the point, and now out of the zone, Allie Thunstrom. Thunstrom on the far side right, stack on the near side left, two on one, shorthanded bid. Stack scores! On the shorthand, giving Boston College the first goal of the game. 1 0 BC. And Nate, we see, we've talked about the great puck movement tonight of Harvard. Well, this time they win the faceoff, Nate, but they lose the puck in the zone and it sends off. It sends Thunstrom and Stack off to the races and Thunstrom able to find Stack for the goal as Kessler wasn't able to adjust in time to the pass to Stack in Boston College, Nate, with a shorthanded goal last night in the men's bean pot. We saw how shorthanded goals propel Boston University to a victory right there. Boston College being aggressive on the penalty kill. They capitalize. As you see right here, Thunstrom coming up the ice on the two-on-one down the right wing side. Found Stack and was able to go to the stick side of Christina Kessler. And Boston College gets the pivotal first goal of this game. It will give Katie Stone an opportunity to bring out that extra attacker as Kessler skates over to the doorway and off the ice with 121 to play here in the third. And that last break for Harvard looked like it was going to be another great scoring opportunity. Viancourt brought the puck down low, sent the puck back out to the point, as we'll see right here. Viancourt hitting the post, coming in right in the slot. Had show speed, just missed though. Got a little bit under the puck and put it off the post. You never want to let Sarah Viancourt get in there down low. She'll make a lot of good things happen for you. But right there, just gets a little bit under the puck, chips it up and puts it off the post. But, and then right back on the last play, it looked like Howard had some numbers going on the four and three, but Taverna comes in, Nate, and makes a great diving play to end the rush for the Crimson. Vaughn tries to send one down low, knocked aside by Harris, cleared along the near side half boards. Kelly Stack gives chase, trying to backhand one in on the empty net. Now back behind the net, Sarah Viancourt now plays on the corner with Kelly Stack. The two leading scorers for each team battling on the corner, looking in front, backhanding it in, blocked in front by the D, trying to clear it out to the near circle. Bartleman controls for Boston College. Inside a minute to play, Boston College shorthanded in their offensive zone with an empty net. Kessler back on the bench. Headman pass back across the far side left wing. Back across into the zone. Centering feed there, Wilson. Wilson couldn't quite handle. Comes back behind in that Bassett. Bassett now with Brine. Now back behind. Boston College controls. Back along the far wing. Taverner tries to clear. 34 seconds to play here in the third period. Poke checked away. Back through center. And Harvard will have to give chase back the other way. 27 seconds to play as they look 200 feet up ice. A lot of ice ahead of them to make way and get a scoring bid here. Brine. Brine now looking out along the far side left. Breaks the blue line on the far wing. 17 seconds to play. Now centering pass through the middle. Couldn't quite get the uh, stick on the ice. Brine. Now back behind the net. Weedmeyer. Now centering pass. Comes out loose in front. Restuccia tries to clear. Shoveled back into zone by Vaughn. Four seconds to play here in the period. Taverner tries to pinch it up against the half wall. And that's going to do it. Boston College wins the 31st annual Beanpot by a final count of one to nothing on a shorthanded tally. Boy, what a what a great hockey game here tonight, Nate. A game that in the first period was really dominated by the Harvard Crimson getting a good majority of their shots. Harvard getting half of their shots in this game in period number one, but Boston College came out in period number two. A lot of power play opportunities. Five in period number two really put the, put the momentum on Boston College's side. And then late here at the halfway mark of period number two, 
down a man, Kelly Stack able to get the shorthanded goal on a two-on-one from Allie Thurnstrom. The shorthanded goal, a difference here tonight, and that gives Boston College their third bean pot in four years. Great contest here between Harvard and Boston College. You just mentioned it, Rob, the third Beanpot title for Boston College. You've got to give them credit. They have well won two in a row in the women's Beanpot. We'll take a break. We'll come back with some post-game wrap-up. You're watching the 31st Annual Women's Beanpot on PacNetwork.com. Second time in three seasons, Boston College and the Eagles have captured the women's bean pot, and it all started, Rob, and ended really with a Kelly Stack shorthanded goal late in the third period. What an incredible performance there on the shorthanded by the tandem of Thunstrom and Kelly Stack. You know, coming into this game, we talked about Harvard's top line and Boston Boston College's top line. We talked about how they'd be the most important. They'd you know decide who wins this game tonight, and it was. Thunstrom on the two-on-one, on the shorthanded, able to find Kelly Stack. Let's take a look at it here. Harvard turns the puck over on the power play. Thunstrom's been firing out of her defensive zone, gets to the puck as Stack will be coming down towards the top of the slot down the left wing. Great pass from Thunstrom to Stack, and Stack able just to beat Christina Kessler to the stick side, and that is the goal here tonight that will win the bean pot for Boston College, a shorthanded goal, and a great effort there by Stack, but you also have to look tonight at the effort of Molly Schaus, who has won the award as the best goaltender here in this tournament, with a great performance here tonight, making 40 saves for Boston College. Let's not sell, sell Harvard University short, though, Rob, as they had an opportunity down the stretch as well. Boston College handed them plenty of power plays, and they had that extra attacker out there on the ice down the stretch that almost gave them the equalizer at 1-1. Yep, here we go. We take a look. Sarah Viancourt taking the puck in along the end line. Had the shot. Had Schaus beat for the first time tonight. Just got her stick under it just enough and put it off the crossbar. So the star for Harvard with a great move, but comes up just short for the Crimson. Just to uh, recap on what's going on down the ice as you're looking uh, live down there at Joe Britannia, Katie King, and the captains and uh, alternate captains for Boston College. They accept the 31st women's bean pot as uh, Molly Schaus was named the Britannia Award recipient, the lowest uh, save percentage, or highest save percentage I should say, uh, named in honor of Joe Britannia who was uh, up here with us during the first intermission. So she wins the, uh, the Britannia Award um, and for the most valuable player honors it goes, who else? Than to Kelly Stack. Yeah, I mean, she's, you know, she scored the big goal, but she also made some great plays in the third period, really made some good defensive plays as Boston College in the third period blocked a lot of shots from Harvard. It seemed like Harvard had some odd man rushes a few times, but Stack was able to make some great plays defensively as well, along with the big goal for Boston College to give them the win. We'll take one more break, come back here to Matthews Arena, put a final wrap on this one. Boston College, the 2009 Women's Beanpot Champions. They knock off Harvard one to nothing. Back after this, PacNetwork.com. <laughs> 